Disney month so today we're going to be drawing Donald Duck and um, I've already have this uh, image pulled up here um, I'm using Clip Studio Paint so I'm going to uh, as usual break down uh, the image um, like how am I going to um, approach this so let me reduce the opacity and like a yellow marker maybe like a okay let me take this one so again uh, that I keep saying this but like the cranial mass like he's here right this is his um, let's say the core part of his head um, of course he has his uh, hat uh, which we'll get to his uh, mouth roughly and uh, okay we see the part of his neck the not not the the whole neck um, and basically his um, body here um, so again like, like you have to imagine that um, just like when you're drawing 3d um, figures like you have to imagine like a GI Joe you know like a toy where you could like actually put together um, the different parts like the torso the, the pelvis the legs and feet and so on for the cartoon character, you have to imagine them, I guess, because you, they're kind of 2 they are they exist in 3D space, but they're kind of 2D. So you kind of have to imagine them as um, uh, a puzzle where the 2D pieces um, are put together to create the image and the silhouette that we all um, recognize and love, right? Like so. Um, so here's the arm. the one leg and the other leg we are not able to see it we only see the bottom part of it and then the feet duck feet because he's a duck um, so okay so if I remove the image we are left with this one of course minus the details uh, so we're going to start drawing Again, always start with the head. Something like that. Um, okay, we can, I mean, I know it's a little bit cheating because I'm getting ahead of myself, but then it's good to establish like the head because I feel like it's a, such a big part of the silhouette. Um, and um, so as for the rest of the head um, we see a shape like this for the lower uh, lower lip or lower <laughs> beak uh, because he's a duck and something like this for the upper um, upper part So sometimes, like I said, I get carried away and I tend to draw the... I think I drew the head a little bit too big, so... <laughs> if, I, if I continue like this, I won't have space for the rest of the body. So let me start over again, sorry about that. And this is why this sketching part is um, useful because then you can realize if you are, uh, like for example, if you're trying to follow a composition, okay, if I the, the size, the proportion is right, the size is right for the composition that I'm trying to get to, like uh, will will the characters fit the way I want to want them to fit within the my frame, and so on. So I think all that. Um, that preparation part like establishing the structure of your characters before going into the detail um, actually really helps I mean of course I'm drawing digitally but then um, the digital like I explained in my previous videos 
This is just to make the explanation part a little bit easier. Um, but um, and also clearer because I mean, as you can see, like um, in the camera and the webcam that I'm shooting myself in, the lighting is really terrible, and I don't have the equipment to uh, light my sketchbook when I'm drawing. I love drawing in paper. Um, I love that feeling of pencil on paper, but um, I can't do that because then it will be difficult for you to see. It's okay if you can't see me, like uh, that's fine. Like if you don't see, if the webcam is not a good one, that's fine. But I want the drawing, which is the main point of uh, this video, to be really clear. Maybe this is like, I mean, I mean again, <laughs> maybe this is uh, how the Disney artists cheated, like, well, because they, you know, they have to draw, uh, I mean, in this case, maybe this is like a, you know, um, like a illustration, not like a part of the, not like an actual screenshot from the, one of the series or the, the movies featuring Donald Duck. Um, there's a gap here. So um, I'm going to change something for my um, video this time because usually I just finish the drawing with um, uh, the pencil but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to draw with the, the pen because um, just to give like a clear picture um, and also it's it's just more presentable, I think, um, than if I draw everything in uh, So there are a few things that I will also correct as I, um, let's say, ink um, in quotes. Um, like if I really say this is inking, um, I might offend a lot of um, inkers. <laughs> And actually when I'm doing comics, this is what I do, I put the basic structure of the characters and the scene um, with, um, depending on the scene or the posture, like it can be more or less loose. Loose meaning, uh, loose, when, when people, when artists talk about loose, um, they actually mean like more uh, details. Um, so here his beak is lifted up a little bit more than what I have drawn in the, in my drawing. Let's see if I made the right choice by choosing to draw with this pen. I'm tempted to press um, undo, <laughs> but I'm uh, restraining myself from not doing it, um, so that you get the real impression of what it is to be to draw. Um, 
I mean, if this was, of course, traditional inking, um, I would have to use whiteout, right? Because, and I guess that's why I'm using. Um, digital when inking because you can make these mistakes and uh, still get away with them yeah I've, I've kind of accomplished what I wanted with this one um, if I have to self critique yeah um, I kind of made him a bit fat um, and I think that came big that comes from the fact that I didn't really plan it was difficult actually to um, to actually predict where the drawing was uh, going, right? Like, I mean, the, the, the size of the drawing. I think it's pretty, it, it came out pretty well. Um, I think mine looks, <laughs> again, I, I, I can't help thinking, but like, yeah, it looks a little bit wider. Yeah, just that. I'm not happy with this inclination here. The inclination of the head. I could nitpick and then go keep going until I get exactly but then it's um, that's not the point the point is to draw Donald Duck and we've drawn Donald Duck um, so again we started with um, breaking down into um, simple forms right like that like as we always do like puzzles that we need to put together in our canvas so we bring that grid those reference lines and then we build on details over them. So um, let me know if this is better, like in the, if I'm using a pen instead of a pencil to draw the final drawing, basically. Um, and um, otherwise, I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you like my videos, and uh, um, I would like to hear from you. Like, uh, leave your comments, uh, leave your feedback, and. Of course, if you have any suggestions, requests for future cartoon characters you would like to uh, you'd like to see me draw, let me know. Um, and uh, otherwise, thank you again, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe. This is Boris for Sketchman Draws, signing off.